STEM Learning is an organisation whose main aim is to provide a world-leading STEM education for young people across the UK, but it can't do it on its own. It has a network of around 37,000 STEM ambassadors who volunteer in schools and local groups. I'm joined now by Dr. AJ Sharman. AJ, tell me more about STEM Learning. STEM Learning is an organisation, a not-for-profit organisation that works closely with government. It's part of a unique national infrastructure of STEM education support. And STEM Learning's role is to ensure that we support schools and colleges and non-school groups like Scouts and Guides to ensure that we bring STEM alive, so to speak, in the science, technology, engineering and maths. And we do that in a number of ways. One way in which we do that is to support teachers directly with subject knowledge enhancement, continued professional development to improve the quality of teaching in the classroom. But a really unique part of what we do is actually manage a flagship programme of 37,000 role models who go into schools and actually work in a virtual way as well to really inspire a new generation into STEM, but also into STEM careers in the future to satisfy a huge skills shortage that we have in the UK. So what is the STEM Ambassador Programme? Well, the STEM Ambassadors Programme is actually role models, STEM professionals in research within universities as well as in employers who go into schools or work virtually to inspire those young people about what they do, why they do what they do, how they got to what they do, and actually to inspire them to think about STEM careers in the future. And I think that's a really unique way. And so there is no programme like it that I know of that actually has that many role models that can really go into schools nationally. And you've been a STEM ambassador for almost 20 years. Tell me about that. Wow, I, yeah, thanks for telling me that because actually this is my 19th year as a STEM ambassador. Actually, I'm a microbial biochemist by training. And I love, I love what I do. And I go, into, I go into schools and talk about biochemistry, but that's actually a bit weird for primary school and, and, and secondary school pupils. But the whole intention for me has always been about trying to inspire a new generation about thinking about science in a slightly different way and meeting real people in real jobs. And so as a biochemist and a biotechnologist, the most amazing thing is you can go and do career talks, you can mentor students, you can judge competitions and challenges. Kids have no boundaries. They are, they're amazing. They come up with the most amazing solutions to problems. STEM is very creative. It gives an opportunity for young people to think about STEM careers in the future. And there are so many opportunities in what is a changing STEM world. It's the 20th anniversary of the STEM Ambassador Programme. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. But actually, I'm, I'm one representative of 37,000 plus role models who go and do this wonderful job of inspiring a new generation. But the beauty is that they're quite diverse. You know, we have over 46% of our STEM Ambassador population that are women. We have, you know, over 56% that are under 35 and a really good ethnic um, diversity in terms of the 17%. So it's really important that we connect with young people as we go forward. So, yeah, I'm so delighted that the, the programme has gone from strength to strength. And who, who would have believed all those years ago that we'd get to 20 years where we've got 37,000 role models absolutely at working with schools and colleges and non-school groups in the country. And looking ahead, the future of STEM? Ah. Massive, because the, 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 huge, the huge diversity in, uh, in industry and research is such that we are, we are aiming to be a superpower in innovation and science, uh, as government would say. So it's really important from our perspective that we keep getting role models from a whole selection of industries, cyber, the cyber world, the technology engineering world. Quant we're talking about quantum ambassadors now we're talking about. We work with the European Space Agency. We have space ambassadors, and that's a huge industry that's growing. So the future of STEM looks, looks promising, but it will only look promising if we can satisfy the skills shortage that we have, which is why the STEM Ambassadors Programme was put in place in the first place. Inspire a new generation, smash stereotypes, and make sure that young people get to see real people in real jobs. Dr. AJ Shamon, thank you very much.